The father of Trayvon Martin on Capitol Hill with the Congressional Black Caucus, showing how the simmering issues of race and the law that came up in the George Zimmerman case are just as politically explosive, perhaps more so since the jury acquitted Zimmerman of murder. To have his name uh, slandered and, and uh, demonized, I think, as a father, I think it's real important that uh, my message to the world is that we won't let this verdict sum up how, who Trayvon was. CNN political analyst Cornell Belcher met with Tracy Martin just before his appearance on the Hill. He says the jury decision acquitting George Zimmerman could be a crucial moment in the debate over stand your ground laws. But on a personal level, for the Martin family, it's a time to let the public know who their son was. But they also wanted to find their son. I mean, one of the things I, I think has been problematic from the case is that, you know, the, the defense defined George Zimmerman in, in, in a way that was, that was helpful uh, to his defense. But they, I don't think they, they feel as though their son has been well defined and sort of who he, who he was. The back and forth over the Martin case went to new heights after President Obama himself yeah, weighed in with a deeply personal there. speech. When uh, Trayvon Martin was first shot, uh, I said that this could have been my son. Uh, another way of saying that is uh, Trayvon Martin could have been me uh, 35 years ago. All eyes are on the Attorney General Eric Holder. The Obama constituency wants to know whether the Justice Department will take any future steps in the case. Holder has been highly critical of stand your ground laws. By allowing and perhaps encouraging violent situations to escalate in public, such laws undermine public safety. The list of resulting tragedies is long and unfortunately has victimized too many who are innocent. It is our collective obligation. We must stand our ground. The Martin family has started a foundation to honor Trayvon's memory and to push for changes. We're here today to see what we can do to stop this from happening to your child.